So basically, this campaign's World War II was caused by non-aligned China. I had no idea they puppeted Japan too. Holy shit. Yeah, I have not been paying attention. Well, I guess for this universe, everyone say hello to Asian Hitler. Hey guys, it's your favorite North Korean propaganda channel, back with you here today. Yes, somehow I am still alive. And in this video, we'll be doing autocomplete focus trees in the new Waking the Tiger DLC. Just to see all the crazy shit that can happen. This is a pretty massive update, obviously for East Asia, but for a lot of the new mechanics, it's gonna affect the entire map. Oh yeah, and let's definitely not forget about the new German focus tree, because uh, yeah, there's lots of new stuff that can happen here. That's for sure. Oh, I'm so excited. But of course, you know, no one can be as powerful as Japan, seeing as they control the greatest territory of all time. Just in case there's anyone watching out there that might have the wrong idea about me. I really enjoy this place. And just a quick update on that whole situation. There sure were a lot of Hacker Boy 9000s that were telling me it'd be very easy to use a VPN and get me more views from North Korea. And a lot of people tried, but unfortunately, I still only have this single one, which only confirms my fear that it was probably legitimate and I still might get a package full of anthrax. Well, there we go. I guess everyone's favorite faction I'll never be able to pronounce is still back in this DLC. Fantastic. Oh god, and we're already starting to get a pretty big mess out of East Asia. I know this Japanese faction is going to form up a lot more in Waking the Tiger, but I'm really liking this People's Front formed between these two communist nations. Oh shit, where's Sexy Mao? God damn it. I guess I won't be nutting anytime soon. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, so I guess these two have just united under Communist China. I'm starting to think there might be more people that join. And now here comes Benito with his boner for Rome, forming his own faction. I guess Romania is now forced to be Hitler's only friend. Have fun with that. And there's the first conflict. So this is going to be pretty messy because, yeah, this side's not going to be able to support you. Qing China, uh, pretty sure that's Manchukuo. Yep, I think they went independent. Oh, you know, I think I was told that this was not a good idea to go independent as Qing because there's a small bug. Again, this is a slightly early build, but now I think I understand. Japan is going through a midlife crisis. Well, Qing, thanks for trying. Unfortunately, uh, things are not going to work out. Now, I really don't want to get your hopes up, but from my test runs, Republican Spain can actually win now. I know that's insane because they literally didn't win ever before. I don't even know how that was possible. But yeah, I'm really excited to see this face a whole lot less with this DLC. Well, at this point, East Asia is just completely on fire right now. China declared war in Tibet, and they joined the Qing faction. And these guys are about to take out this part of communist China. Unless, of course, this side of things can save them. Yeah, you see, my dude right here from China is just starting to declare war on everyone. Which isn't necessarily a bad idea, but yeah, they just keep joining this other faction. And there goes the final warlord. All of China is now in some sort of team. Qing is already dead. They didn't last long, but we all kind of figured that. Yeah, okay, so the autocomplete focus trees is having China go down every single war they can do all at the same time. They're surprisingly doing a pretty good job, though. Anyways, while chaos ensues in the East, uh, Europe's still pretty chill for the most part. I'm assuming France is about to go communists. Yep, because uh, that's just what they do. I'm wondering how this will affect their war with China now. Oh, not a smart move, Stalin. That's going to pull you into a war with the Axis. Well, we'll see how that goes. Well, I mean, I guess he doesn't really have to worry about Germany just yet. There's no way for them to get over there. Unless, of course, something happens to Czechoslovakia. But no. No, that's that's crazy talk. Oh, shit, France. What did you guys do? The People's Front. Oh, my God. That's Communist China, isn't it? So, basically, this campaign's World War II was caused by non-aligned China. I mean, world tension isn't at 100% yet, but they still need to take a big portion of the blame. I had no idea they puppeted Japan, too. Holy shit. Yeah, I have not been paying attention. Well, I guess for this universe, everyone say hello to Asian Hitler, which, speak of the devil, um, he's actually hasn't done anything. He's kind of just chilling here. I, I know that he's gone down parts of his focus tree where he can choose to do stuff. He's just not. Wow, Italy, that took a very, very long time. Or at least it seems that way with everything that's been going down. There we go. Why not? A second civil war in Western Europe. The second one also to have a communist uprising. Oh, damn. Does that mean they're just going to peace out with China? That's what this looks like. No, that's that's not exactly what happens. Kind of. Uh, one side of the French Revolution joined the Chinese United Front. Well, okay. So we have both French nations in two Asian factions. I don't know why, but I am completely okay with this. It's starting to look like both of these communist uprisings are gonna lose both civil wars. So this is a big win for fascism and democracy. This is insane. It's only been a year and we already have a unified China. That's terrifying. I'm sure this won't happen in most games, but 
I'd be shitting my pants if I was actually playing right now. 6.5 million manpower? And I bet you that'll probably double soon. Oh, I forgot to mention Benito is at war with Greece, so he's slowly expanding his Roman Empire. And Papa Stalin has completely annexed Romania. Again, I believe these two are still at war, right? Yeah, they are. But I don't think there'll be any major front lines anytime soon. Ah, oh, Stanley. Such a comedian. He has two war goals to puppet both Germany and Italy. Please, just do it for me, baby. Now, I'm not expecting much, but is there anything at all happening in the New World? Any sort of communist uprisings or, I mean, obviously there's no wars. Yeah, I mean, it looks about the same. I'm not really disappointed because that's kind of what I figured. I mean, either way, it's fine because this was kind of the perfect video to show off waking the tiger. Wow, okay, well, I was wrong. The French commune did, in fact, win. It's kind of strange because the democracy side of things was doing pretty well. Yeah, it looks like Stalin had something to do with it. He probably got involved. Well, regardless, there is now a new front for the Axis to worry about. As well as I believe Italy is doing something over here. Good, good. We get to see how well France does when surrendering in this new DLC. Which is very important because they do a lot of that. Seems like Mussolini is doing alright against the UK. I think he's also winning his European theater. Well, there you go. That'll help out quite a bit. Czechoslovakia is probably done, as well as this does finally pull the Allies into a war with the Axis. Alright, so a lot of wars are now being declared. Germany's going after Poland, they also took out Luxembourg, and they're gonna kill off Belgium. The Swiss have also made a surprising amount of progress here. I don't think the Nazis were completely ready for this war. See, the one time they finally don't stay neutral, and Hitler just ain't prepared. Oh, and now Francisco, you let Canada invade you? Oh, well, they're gonna all die. I mean, I guess it was the Canadians. What else did we expect? Yeah, you know what? This is really not looking good for the fascists. Once again, Hitler's gotten himself involved in a two-front war, but he didn't even really get that far in this video. He can't even take Poland at this point. But then, of course, there was Benito forming the Pact of Rome, which probably didn't help much. Oh, and China just went democratic. Well, I'm not really surprised for the most part. You know, they won as non-aligned China. This does tend to be kind of the ideology they just evolve into. Oh, this was the problem for Hitler. Stalin took Czechoslovakian lands, and now he's just pushing straight into Axis territory. Yeah, because the Allies weren't really doing much, but now the Soviets are just flowing in. Hey, but Poland at least managed to hold on. I mean, for now, but let's give him some credit for that. Well, that is not good. Stalin, you're kind of allowing Hitler to live for a little bit longer, or maybe not. I guess he could take them both down just about at the same time. The Reich just made it so much worse by declaring war on the Dutch and Denmark. I mean, they're not that big of a threat. Either way, they're gonna die. And already, there's the peace deal. Looks like the Soviet Union got most out of it. I imagine the Allies just put some democracies in power or something. No, they actually didn't get much out of that at all, as well as they lost all of Western Europe to communism. I guess they could just focus on the Italians. They still have to take them down, but it's kind of a lost cause, especially as now Joseph declares war in the Middle East. Both Iran and Iraq will probably fall. Oh, but don't forget about Afghanistan, which, you know, they do tend to have trouble here, Treaty of Budapest, UK took nine states. I'm guessing that's got to be in Africa, right? Yeah, because Italy was just turned into a democracy, as well as Hungary and Austria. So, New World, you guys just not going to do anything about this? We've got a potentially terrifying Cold War on our hands. You know, one nice thing about Stalin is at least he gave Germany appropriate sexy-ass borders. I mean, don't mind this disgusting blue tumor. Everything else looks pretty good. Wait a second, am I missing something? Can the AI start doing this? I guess we can look forward to AIs actually justifying their own wars. I mean, it makes sense. They already have control over everything in this region. So you might as well just get Turkey. Oh, that is so perfect. Thank you so much. I was really worried we'd have to sit here and just imagine what the Cold War would be like. I don't know exactly what's going on, but we are going to see World War III. I mean, I basically understand when the Soviet Union declared war on Turkey, they joined the Allies. But still, that fabrication was amazing. Okay, FDR, the Allies could really use your help right now. I'm gonna need you to do something. I don't know how you stayed neutral this entire time. You're still clearly a democracy. Man, and just look at this mess. The Comintern are gonna easily win this unless somehow China gets involved. Come on, guys. I thought China number one. Well, surprisingly, things are okay in Europe. I don't know if most of these uh, places like France and Germany don't really have much of an army. I'm assuming that's gotta be the case because they're just getting destroyed. So I guess the US has just chosen to be super isolated in this campaign. They really do not want to get pulled into another war. Holy shit. Who would have thought Mongolia would actually be of some sort of use in Hearts of Iron 4? Even though they don't really matter all that much, it pulls the Chinese into a war with the Comintern. This is too perfect. This is so perfect. Okay, well, I don't know if communism is going to be doing all that well anymore. Also, yep, 
22 million manpower. They more than tripled since the last time we saw it. I wonder how well Japan is going to do. I'm, I'm sure they're going to contribute, right? Oh yeah, they're actually going to have a pretty good invasion on their hands. That's a scary ass front though, because obviously India is here as well, which not sure how powerful they are. Still, I think they can hold their own. It's so good because the allies were losing a lot of land in Europe. They're basically going to lose all their footholds. You know what FDR, keep your ass in North America. I don't think the allies need you anymore. They found a much, much better friend. Well, there you go. I guess they are going to join the allies because, uh, well, the war is basically already over. Such a US thing to do, just to join at the end and now they're going to take all the credit. There's the end of World War III. Already, the UK taking 39 states. That was pretty aggressive. I mean, China only took seven. I don't understand that. Oh, that's right, they're all democracies though. So they're just putting other Democrats in power. Whoa, okay. Well, for the most part, the world doesn't look that strange. I'm assuming everyone, yeah, everyone has joined the allies for the most part. That's sad, no one wanted to join China. What's even worse though, is the only lands the British took was Polish territory. Man, that is really fucked up. You could have just gave this back to them. Well, either way, that was the best base game China I'd ever seen. And it wasn't even close. It was probably all due to the fact that they had control over North Korea. Right, guys? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I'm gonna go now. And of course, big thanks to Matthew King, Wyon, Hitler did demonetize, Furry Cruz, Rucifer Acation, Nick Tang, Matthew Ellis, Lavender Sheep, Stormblade, Elfie, Hayden the Exile Brown, Jung Cooks Bay, Elijah Senpai, and finally, Drew, you didn't say my last name. If you want to support me, you can find a link down below.